<clears throat> What's going on? My name is Kyle Welcher. I appreciate you clicking on this video. You clicked on it because I would expect you want to hear my opinions on the FLW to BPT merger, or whatever you want to call it. Now it's the FLW Pro Circuit. Also, I'm going to give you my opinion on the Bassmaster Elites. So I'm not saying that I'm the most qualified to talk about this subject, but I'm sure a lot of people will make a video similar to this in the coming days or weeks, or they could already be out. I just haven't seen them yet. So basically, in 2019, I set out a goal to qualify for either the FOW Tour for 2020 or the Bassmaster Elites for 2020. I fished two circuits of the FOW Costas and one circuit of the Bassmaster Elites, along with numerous other smaller tournaments. The guys who have followed my channel for the past year or so, I really appreciate it. And most of you already know that I have qualified for the FOW Tour and I also qualified for the Bassmaster Elites in 2020. So in the coming weeks, making my decision on which way I want to go in my career is going to be a, a big decision for me. So these are the things that I have researched and figured out and that I think this is the ways the fishing industry are going and you know from every different perspective. So basically anybody who's followed the fishing industry knows that in the fall of 2018 the entire fishing industry had a huge earthquake the bpt came about and when it came out in the fall last fall it kind of shook everything up nobody knew what was going to happen you know every since then it's been rumored that the fow tour was going to be purchased by bpt and a lot of the elite anglers went to the bpt a few of the fow tour anglers went to the bpt so now you know the elites have a lot of new faces the fow tour kind of you don't know what's going to happen with it but basically in 2019 another thing happened and it came out for sure that the fow tour is now purchased by bpt it is called the fow pro circuit so if you did not know that that is what's happening right now the format has changed and i'm gonna get to all that in a minute but 2019 now the fow tour is going to be the stepping stone for the bpt so you can debate whether the Bass, Pro, the Bass Pro Tour or the Elites is the bigger circuit, but the Elites are going to be their own thing, and now FOW and the BPT are merged together, and the FOW Pro Circuit is the way to get into the BPT. So I'm going to get to all that in a minute, but first I'm going to address what I've been doing and where I'm at right now because I have not done anything like this in a while, and I've got a lot of people here that I have talked to a ton that watch my channel all the time, so I'm just going to address y'all right here and tell y'all what's going on. Basically... I am homeless right now. So me and Hunter moved out of our place in Cleveland, Tennessee. We do not live around Chickamauga at all anymore. Whenever I found out that I qualified for both the FOW Tour and the Bassmaster Elites, I don't really, we didn't have any reason to stay around Lake Chickamauga, stay in that area. So we decided to just pack up. You know, we've, we've been in, living in hotels for the past couple, two or three weeks, you know, going from tournament to tournament. And now we're in Memphis, Tennessee. We're at her parents place we, we've we got here last night driving back from like those arcs but any, anyways so we're traveling around we're trying to get a plan together for what we're going to do next year and that's why the reason we're making this video we're doing a lot of research so we moved away from chickamauga we're not there anymore and i am going to fish one of the two circuits so that being said i am going to list my ranger my 2019 ranger 520l i'm going to list it for sale i'm going to try to sell it in the next two or three weeks and order me a new boat for next year now also I am seeking sponsors. So anybody out there who has friends or family or if you own a business that could benefit from national exposure at a, you know, the Elite Series level or else the FOW Pro Circuit level, I will be fishing one of those next year. So if you, you know, you know anybody or if you personally would be interested in some advertisement, you can reach me at kdubrkw at gmail.com. Send me an email. I'm going to be selling a ton of spots on the boat. So I've already got some sold, but there's some spots left for sure. So basically, that's what we're planning on doing. We're in Memphis, Tennessee right now. Actually, we're in Collierville, a place a little bit east of uh, Memphis, I believe. But if y'all know anywhere good to go fishing around here, leave me a comment down below. Also, leave me a comment down below about what I need to do as far as the FOW Tour or the FOW Pro Circuit or the Bassmaster Elite Series. So basically, is that everything I need to cover? Yep. So now we just need to talk about what's happening. Yep. Okay, so basically, it's like this. The Elite Series, in my opinion, are always going to be the Elite Series. They're always going to be prestigious. They're always going to be a Premier League. Now, I know a lot of people there are new faces. I've heard a lot of people online saying that they don't like to watch the Elite Series because they don't know the people in the Elite Series. My response to that is, at some point, you didn't know who Kevin Madame was. At some point, you didn't know who Jared Swindle was. You have to learn the people 
you know, all those guys that were in the Elite Series, eventually they were going to stop fishing the Elite Series. Now, what was going to happen is it would taper off with a few of them retiring, you know, over the years until they're all gone. And then you'll sprinkle in new faces. Well, it just kind of was a chopping block and they're all gone. Then it's completely new faces. So it would have tapered off more slowly, but they would have been, you know, turned over eventually anyway. So the Elite Series are still a, definitely a premier organization. They're going to be there forever, in my opinion. Now, what is unknown is what the FOW Pro Circuit is going to be in 2020. Now, I believe that the BPT is owned and organized by a bunch of like-minded people who have a vision for the fishing industry that's trying to make it better. Now, I'm not saying the format's better. I'm not saying that you know a lot of the things they're doing is superior. I'm just saying that they are trying, and you can't knock somebody for trying because you know, your first year doing something, you're not always going to get it right. You know, this is a huge thing. It takes a lot of manpower. It takes a lot of hours to get everything r running smoothly. So I think they're doing a pretty good job already. So I think there's a bunch of like-minded people running the BPT that's trying to make bass fishing a legitimate sport where everybody makes money every year. Now, that's been something that we have not seen in the fishing industry before. Basically, in the Elite Series and even in the FOW Tour for the past Year, Elite Series came out in 2006, so I guess ever since then, people have been, you know, fishing for each other's entry fees, which is really not the right way to do it. If you're talking about somebody as a professional angler, every single person there should be making money. Now, in my opinion, I think it should be a smaller field, harder to qualify, but when you get there, everybody makes money. Now, that's not happening. There's still a bunch of 150 boat fields, which, you know, it's just hard to pay that many people that kind of money. But anyways, the BPT is ran by a bunch of like-minded people that I believe are trying to make the fishing industry better. Have they done it yet? It's hard to say. But it's hard to predict exactly what the FOW Pro Circuit is going to be in the next year or years, and also the qualification process to qualify from the FOW Pro Circuit to the BPT is pretty tight. So basically, in 2021, they're taking 10 people from the FOW pro circuit and moving them up to the BPT. Now what that means is you have to come in the top 10 after two years, which will be, I guess it will be 16 tournaments. You have to come in the top 10 in AOI points and then you're gonna get an invitation to the BPT. And then 10 people from the BPT will be kicked off based on their results for the past three years. So basically the format for the pro circuit is gonna be like this. There's gonna be 150 boat field. I do have an invitation and Basically, the schedule is going to stay the same. They're going to, I think it's uh, Harris Chain, Lake Martin, you know, I can't remember, Cherokee, some places like that. And then they're, you know, having their normal circuit. They're going to Detroit River Fish or Smallmouth. But the normal um, format is going to be like this. So the first three days, 150, uh, first two days, 150 boats are going to fish for, I could have that wrong. It might be first three days. But I think the first two days, 150 boats are going to fish for you know, their normal five fish things. So after two days, they're gonna cut the field down to 75. Now the third day, 75 people will fish, the top and the weights will zero, and they're still fishing for five fish, I believe. Now, after that last, the third day, they're gonna cut the field down to 20. Now on the fourth day, they're gonna cut that 20 into two groups of 10. On the fourth day, 10 of those will fish, and they'll cut it to five. On the fifth day, the other 10 will fish, and they'll cut that to five. And then on the sixth day, the last 10 will fish. And every single day, the weights are zeroed until you get, well, the first two days, all the weights count. Then I believe the third, fourth, fifth day, the weights are zero. So the sixth day, you got a 10-boat tournament for 100 grand. So basically, you could squeak in, you could come in 75th, and then 20th, and then 5th, and then 1st, and win 100 grand. So... And it's not five fish limits. There's no, no, no. The, the last few days is MLF format. So after they cut it from 75 to 20, so whenever they split it into 10, 10, and, and 10, it's going to be as many fish as you can catch on the MLF format. Good point. I days. forgot that part. Yes. For the last three days, it's going to be MLF format. Now, I have grown up fishing for five fish my whole life. Basically for the past, I guess... 12 years I've been fishing five fish tournaments as much as I possibly can so my strategy I, I, I try to fish very analytically I try to make it fish a lot of high percentage areas I make a lot of stops and stuff like that because I'm trying to catch five fish all day usually if I can get eight or nine bites in a day I have a pretty good bag so I'm geared more towards fishing the elite series now 
I think I do have a, a, a skill set where I can catch a lot of fish fast because I'm, you know, fairly efficient. But I'm not used to it at all. And a lot of these guys, you can tell just after fishing the BPT for a year, a lot of the guys who weren't that good of fishermen now, they're, they seem like way, way better fishermen just in a year of fishing, you know, in this high intensity environment, you know, around all these people that are so good. It seems like they're growing extremely, extremely fast. So you're, you're starting to see the guys who, you know, weren't, really really like top tier guys dominating every other tournament they get in you know even not bpt or catch them really really good in the bpt because i know a lot of people say yeah i can go out to my home lake and catch 101 pounders well really you can't you know it's not that easy it sounds easy on the couch but it's just not you know it's still it's still a fishing tournament it's still the guy who's the best who makes the best decision to catch the most fish is going to win so but anyways the format I actually do kind of like. The only thing I don't like about the pro circuit format is I don't like that weight's zero. Now, yeah, if you come in 75th, you barely squeak in, the weight's zero, you got a fresh shot at the tournament, yeah, that's nice. But if you're leading for two days and then weight's zero, then you know you come in and you barely miss the cut. It's like, you know, you were probably the best guy for three days, but, you know, just the one day that mattered, you struggled a little bit. So I don't like that the weight's zero, but that's going to be the format. It's going to be three days of five fish tournaments followed by three days of as many fish as you can catch. After two years, the top 10 goes from the FOW Pro Circuit to the BPT. Now, the Elite Series, there's nothing to qualify from there. So I'm trying to consider which one I want to go to, if I want to you know, ultimately end up in the Elite Series or ultimately end up in the BPT. Basically, I just know I want to fish for a living for as long as possible, as long as I can catch bass. So. The Elite Series are always going to be what they, they've been. They're going to a, late, um, a schedule next year of just full of big fish lakes. It's just every single lake. It's like you need to catch 20 pounds with the exception of Sabine River in Texas, I believe. I mean, they're going to literally, like, you need to catch 20 pounds every single day to have a shot at almost every single tournament. When you, we go up north to some smallmouth lakes or over to Santee Cooper, you really need, like, 24, 25 pounds a day to win. So Elite Series is going to some really, really big fish lakes. Tours going to some really, really good lakes. It's just going to come down to how difficult I think it's going to be to get into the BPT because what I don't want to do is go to the FOW Pro Circuit and have that become a lower rung, you know, because basically right now it's been like the elites, the tour, and the BPT. What I don't want to happen is the tour drop down below the BPT and then me go to the tour and get stuck in here trying to qualify for the BPT and I can't get up because it is difficult to come in the top 10 in AOI you know, for 16 tournaments when you're fishing against guys who've been fishing professionally for 15, 20, some of them been fishing longer than that for professionally, you know. So basically, I don't want the tour to drop down below the BPT and be a lower tier professional and me get stuck in that circle. But I would like to, you know, if I went to the tour, I would like to get into BPT eventually or I have to decide I want to go to the elites. So basically, that's what's going on right now. Now, hopefully, Bass, not just for me, but for everybody, Bass is working to get the entry fees lower to make it more affordable for fishermen to fish because obviously paying 35, 40 grand just to go to work is not, you know, ideal for any kind of a professional in any kind of sport. But that's kind of where we're at right now with the sport. Hopefully Bass is working to get entry fees lower, get publicity higher, get payouts higher, and hopefully the guys at BPT are not just greedy, as a lot of people are saying they are, and they're working to get people paid and the kind of you know deals that they deserve to get because you put in a ton of work, a ton of effort, and a ton of time to perfect a craft like fishing. You know, even though people think it's just fishing, you go get a couple beer and sit out on the pontoon boat and drag drag a you know night crawlers around, but Basically, put a lot of work into this. So I hope both organizations are working towards making it more affordable and making people be able to profit more because there's nothing that will put you in a slump faster than not catching for a couple of tournaments, going in debt, and then you know you got to really, really work to even try to make it for the next year. So basically, that's my thoughts on the FOW and the Bass right now. I'm going to decide which one I want to go. We're definitely going to one next year. Like I said, leave a comment below which one you think I should pick. And as always, leave a little comment, leave a subscribe, or don't leave a subscribe, just subscribe, and turn the alerts on. Basically, like I said, though, we're in Memphis right now. Let me know what lake I need to fish. And if you know anybody that wants to sponsor me, K-D-U-B-R-K-W at gmail.com. And... 
that's it. The Ranger is for sale. If you're interested, also email me for that. Um, beautiful boat. It's well trained. That sucker knows how to catch a bass or two. So that's it. Anything you got to say? No. Nope. Any opinions? I think the elites, but. <laughs> we, we we're going to see. She, she knows I can't catch but five fish in a day. So we don't need to go somewhere where I need to catch more than five fish in a day. I'm usually lucky to catch five, but that's it. I will see y'all next time. So we're going to call my grandmother, get her opinion on which one I need to fish. She's all that matters. Hello? So, I got a question for you. What? Sh should I fish the Bassmaster Elite Series or the FOW Tour in next year? Oh my God, Kyle, I don't know. You got to pick one right now. Huh? You got to pick one right now. I don't even know what uh, they, uh, the details. Me either. We just got to pick one. Just pick. You got to pick one right now? Right now. It's up to you. Which one you got to win the most money in? <laughs> Neither one of them. We're going to go broke either way. How much does it cost to get in You got to pick one. I think they'll lease the top of the line, ain't it? Oh, there you go.